And continuing our Pick a Fight with Cancer series, Fox 29 News' Heather Oje has the details of a cancer that isn't widely talked about and one woman who's in the fight of her life. Heather, we've met several amazing people over the course of this series. This next woman doesn't seem to be any different. No, that's right, Heather. This next woman is truly a fighter. And just because we don't hear about ovarian cancer as much as others, doesn't make it any less dangerous. In fact, this type of cancer is widely thought of as the scariest. Take a look. Letha Vinson and her husband Martin are getting a routine checkup from Dr. Michael Broussard, who's treating Letha for ovarian cancer. I had been hurting and feeling real bad for about three months before I was diagnosed. It's like uh, electrical uh, lightning pains going throughout my body. In fact, ovarian cancer is known as the silent killer because normally when symptoms arise, it's already too late. Not preventable, even if you have a total abdominal hysterectomy, there's still tissue that can lead to, in the abdomen, that can lead to a disease that's almost identical called primary peritoneal carcinomatosis. So you can lower your risk with a, a hysterectomy and an, what's called an oophorectomy, which is the removal of the ovaries. According to the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, roughly 22,000 women are diagnosed annually with ovarian cancer, whereas nearly 200,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer. It's a much smaller patient population. Mm -hmm. It has a much higher incidence the older you get. Generally, it's... 60s, 70s, and probably the highest incidence is in the 80s. Just by virtue of the fact that a lot of people don't make it to their 80s, you have a smaller population of potential patients to have a disease process. While you may not be able to catch the silent killer early, there are symptoms that doctors look for. Or warning signs. If you, uh, if an older woman complains of uh, bloating, feeling very full very quickly when you start eating, uh, notices a lot of rapid weight gain or abdominal distension, um, the urinary complaints, frequency, urgency, because of the, the pressure, the, the location of the ovaries in, in relation to the bladder that it can push on the bladder very early on. And so those kinds of symptoms usually get a GYN doctor's attention. And in the meantime, Letha continues to get treatment for her disease. It is curable, and you do have life after the surgery and a good quality life. Mm -hmm. But you just got to think positive that it will go away. Heather OJ, Fox 29 News. As Dr. Broussard said, there is no way to detect ovarian cancer early, although a lot of research is being done to change that. However, he did commend Ms. Letha for exercising daily, even during her treatments, saying that exercise and eating right are two of the best ways to truly help prevent disease and fight it. Back to you, Heather.